Thank you, Mr. Chairman. At a hearing on Capitol Hill, senators reiterated the United States' commitment to finding the more than 275 Nigerian schoolgirls. The U.S. claims one of the biggest obstacles to the girls' rescue is not their abductors, but instead their own government. It took too long for the Nigerian government to accept offers of assistance from the United States, the United Kingdom, France, and China. And once accepted, it took too long for that assistance to be implemented. The girls were abducted one month ago from their school by Islamic fighters known as Boko Haram. Despite escalating attacks from the group, U.S. defense officials claim the Nigerian government has done little to combat the threats. An even greater concern is the incapacity of the Nigerian military and uh, the Nigerian government's uh, failure to provide leadership to the military. They do not have the capabilities, the training or the equipping that Boko Haram does. The U.S. has sent an 18-member team to boost Nigeria's rescue efforts. It's providing law enforcement as well as intelligence assistance, including aerial surveillance. U.S. officials are also troubled by consistent reports from Nigeria that the government's own military is equally guilty of gross human rights violations. Nigeria's record of atrocities perpetrated by some of its security forces during operations against Boko Haram have been widely documented. And we cannot and do not provide assistance when we have credible information that those units have committed gross violations of human rights. The state must demonstrate to its citizens that it can protect them and offer them opportunity. When soldiers destroy towns, kill civilians, and detain innocent people with impunity, mistrust takes root. That mistrust is growing, with daily protests in Nigeria demanding the rescue of the girls. There's fear in the U.S. that the wave of anger could spark sectarian violence, as an increasing number of Nigerians allege the biggest threat to the abducted schoolgirls now may not be Boko Haram, but instead an incompetent Nigerian government. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Washington.